Hey guys, my name is Andrew and I use Git Kraken for all my programming projects. So one thing I loved about Git Kraken was that it gave me a better understanding of what is going on under the hood with Git. Um, I was exposed to Git in a computer science class I took and I was given the basic add, commit, pull, push commands as basic protocols, but it was never explained to me in detail how the version control system worked between my local branches and remote branches or why certain conflicts arose. Now using Git Kraken, I've been able to really visually see how all these parts of Git come into play and it gave me much more of an appreciation for why Git does things the way it does. Now my favorite feature of Git Kraken has got to be the undo feature. So clutch. Now furthermore, I love Git Kraken because it allows me to see which local branch I'm currently in and to switch between them freely. So instead of having to do a checkout, I can just switch to any branch I want to within a certain Git project. Um, now Git visualization tools have slowly come out and there are a few decent ones out there, but I've never seen anything as well designed as Git, Kra Git Kraken's graph view. Uh, it clearly shows which branch is the most updated and where exactly the rest of the branches are. There are distinct line changes as such for when you do like a regular push versus say a merge or a rebase. And this usefulness is magnified because I can also see who's on all the other branches. Now the project right here is the one I worked for my logic programming class to create a interface to be able to use voice inputs and enter them into a prolog interpreter, which to my knowledge has never been done. <laughs> Shameless plug. Sorry guys. So you see here I divided the branches into dev, dev card del1, which is my partner. This is me, dev Lias, master and stable. And so individually we both worked in our own branches and then we pushed them our code into dev and uh, we would make sure that um, all the merge conflicts would be resolved at this stage. And then we would test the code and see if it works. And if nothing was broken, then it would get put, be pushed to stable and then be pushed to master. Um, so now one more feature I love on this graph map is that I can visually see who is, um, you know, who committed what. And so, you know, you can see this is my gravatar, this is my partners. And so I can easily see who did what, you know, that, that's just like magical instead of having to kind of run through, you know, get protocols on the command line. I think this is just definitely built for, you know, a visual application to just capture that. And it's awesome that I can just see all the commits right here. Well, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day.